In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to use the Roto Brush tool to create a cool out of bounds, out of frame video effect. So I'm going to open a new project and I'll create a new composition. And with the video layer that I want to select something in, I'm going to double click on that layer and I can grab my Roto Brush tool from the top toolbar. I can adjust my brush size in the window brushes panel, but basically the green brush is what we're going to use to tell After Effects what to highlight and then after we can go in with a red brush that tells it what not to highlight. So this area between the legs I can press option and create a red line for don't select that area and just make some boundaries for After Effects. If you need to zoom in don't forget to zoom in to your working area and you can work from there. In the effect controls panel you can actually see that we're using version 3.0 which should be a little bit faster and more efficient. It's powered by Adobe Sensei AI. And you also have other options here like feathering and the contrast of the edge, as well as if you select the refine edge on the toolbar, you can choose to refine edge certain portions, like let's say hair that's feathery or fuzzy. So once you have a selection, you can press play to begin propagating that. This green line will show you that After Effects is making that selection based on your line. This is about a 10 second clip, but remember, you don't have to rotoscope all of your clip if you're only gonna use five seconds of it. Save yourself the time and only select the, the seconds of it that you're gonna use. Once we have our selection propagated, there's a couple of view options you can do to look at it, like toggle alpha or toggle alpha boundary. So you can kind of see what selection you've gotten. But now we're gonna use some basic compositing techniques to create that little video example you saw in the beginning. So I'm gonna to go to the layer that we have. This is this layer. I'll just press Command C and Command V to copy and paste it or basically duplicate it. And on the, the bottom layer, I'm going to delete or hide that Roto brush effect that we made. So essentially we have now, don't forget to go back to your composition in the program window so you're not just looking at the layer. But essentially now we have the cutout version and then the background version and they're sandwiched on top of each other. This is actually a cool basis for a lot of effects. For example, if I just wrote some text out, uh, this would give us our text behind object effect if we sandwich the text layer in between. But the idea in this tutorial is the out of frame, out of bounds effect. So I'm going to actually mask the background layer here to, you could use whatever shape you want, but I'll use a rounded rectangle and I'll just make a square, or I guess you could do anything you want, but I'll make a square that just sort of doesn't include the feet and the head of the person here. And this gives us this cool in a box, but out of the box effect. And in order to spice it up a little bit, I just added a stroke on this bottom layer. So generate stroke and create a little white outline. You can always adjust anything like these effects in the effect control panel. And then I added a new background layer, so layer new solid. I put that all the way in the back and you can make it whatever color you want. I used a, a gradient so you could do four color gradient or just regular gradient and oh, generate gradient ramp on this dark gray solid and you can make it whatever color you want. And then I added some text onto that just to finish it off. So say out of bounds, move that around. I'll put this text layer under the rotoscope version, but on top of the frame. And if you open the align menu, you can do quick centering if you like. And there's no reason to even stop here. If you really want to continue the illusion, you can animate the mask here. So the position of the mask that is, I can go to mask path. I'll press V to grab my move tool. As the video plays, I want to make sure I'm grabbing the mask and not the video. So the yellow line here, I can move the mask from one way to the other. So this could be a cool intro splash screen. And this is just one basic example of a couple simple tricks that we've composited together. If anything, learning how to rotoscope, putting text and things behind objects is the basis for a lot of cool compositions. My name is Justin Odisho. If you'd like to check out more ideas and effects, Check out the playlist on my channel for After Effects, Premiere, Photoshop, and more, and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching.